Grandma. Guess what? I'm a magical girl now. Megumi, sweetheart, take some advice from Grandmama. If you ever get thrown to that magical girl nonsense, you could end up like me and having PTSD whenever the ice cream chuck rolls by. Okay? But... But I'm already a magical girl. I still live with the horrors of twinkly bells. That's why I don't play Christmas music. That's why I become a Scrooge. That's why there's no bells in this house. No wind chimes. Nothing. Um, well, there aren't really bells for me. You don't know how deeply this affects you. It'll even affect you, especially that guy in the tuxedo. I wanted him, but he went out with that floozy princess lady. That's not very nice to say about someone, Grandma. And what's worse is that you can fall in love as a magical girl. That's right. You ever see those magical girls? Well, Grandmama had to deal with the magical boys. And either they were gay, or they would give you useless advice that didn't help you at all. I hope that doesn't happen to Seiji. I'm, I mean, I'm not homophobic, please. And there will be a <laughs> tease in your face there, honey. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. So, do not fall in love as a magical girl. Do not go and be a magical girl. I advise you to become a lawyer. Go to college. Do something better with your life. You know what? I, I, I have been thinking about becoming a doctor like Dad. And whoever bless you with those powers, may God have mercy on their soul. It was God. Well, then, I'm sorry to tell you, then, yes, sugar bean. Grandma, 